Hey, hello there, my name is WikiNR, and welcome back for another round of The Long Dark. Uh, so last time, we got abandoned. Um, God, I can't remember her name since it's been a while since I've played this. Um, but she abandoned us. Uh, she was originally trapped in this, uh, this place, this, um, this barn, um, surrounded by wolves until... Uh, we, we basically came out here and there were no wolves, um, except for the one in here. Um, and we had to, we discovered something horrible about her. Um, either she possibly killed someone or she found a dead body or something. We don't know exactly what, what is going on with that dead body, but it, it's not fully trustworthy. Um... We don't know if we can fully trust her or not. I I personally don't think we can too much, um, but it, it's it's a slippery slope for her because um, we are we're currently, as you remember, we're not playing as um, Mackenzie anymore. We are playing as the Doctor um, because, as far as I know, Mackenzie's dead. One would assume that he is dead. Um, but I'm going to a town, I believe now. I'm going to a, the, so I'm currently, yeah, I've got to go to the town. Um, whereas I am, is that the barn? Pleasant Valley Outbuildings. Yeah, because I was in her, yeah, Molly's barn. So I just got to get out on the road and head for the barn. Um, and hopefully that shouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, but you know, <laughs> we all know this game. Uh, I do have a gun. I only have a revolver, so it won't actually take down a wolf or anything like that. Uh, hopefully I don't have to deal with another bear, because if I do, that's going to suck. Because uh, the bear is awful. Um, but I'm really, really hoping that Mackenzie's not dead, because if he is, that's going to suck. Because, like, he, he's... <laughs> I wouldn't say he's one of those characters that you get really heavily emotionally attached to, but he, he was he's a good character. He's a good guy. He's just trying to survive, you know? He's just out here doing doing him and then, you know, all of a sudden. Oh crap, that did not scare it away. Oh great, okay. I think I already have some bandages, so. All right, I'm gonna have to stop that bleeding somehow. Oh, -ho -ho -ho. <sighs> oh yeah, and I've, I've got an infection rest, don't I? Yep, I'll use that, get rid of that, be good. God, I hate. I hate the wolves in this game because, you know. The road to the community hall. Sometimes. They run away. Sometimes they run away. Sometimes they don't. Like, I'll shoot at them, and sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll sprint off with tail between their legs. Sometimes they don't. They just are like, eh, whatever, you, you shot at me. <laughs> I don't care. Because that one I shot at three times, but, you know. I thought I had a pry bar. Well, I guess I don't. I know I, you know, I have currently don't have everything I had as Mackenzie, so... I have to rebuild, you know, my stockpile of things I had. End up being useful. Which kind of sucks, because, you know, I had a decent amount of different things as Mackenzie. I had the uh, pretty good collection, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm heading the right way. I just wanted to make sure I was heading the right way. I didn't see my, my little arrow, because that was, for some reason, you're, you don't have that as you're, when you're inside of buildings, I guess. Or at least I didn't have that. Oh, oh. This, that's that's called a shank, not an improvised knife. But okay. Uh, to Officer Gray from Regional Deputy Commissioner Stevens, re uh, Black Rock transfer. Have we arranged additional officers for the upcoming inmate transfer roads? And conditions are never good on Great Bear. And this year, I am uh, hearing they're even worse than usual. Let's make sure we have enough help uh, where and when we need it. As you know, this bunch won't make it uh, easy on us. Regards, our Stevens Deputy Commissioner. So um, we know that. Um, I, God, I can't remember her name. She's just the doctor as of right now. 
but the doctor had, uh, she had a run-in with the prisoners. Um, apparently she was trying to help, um, some of the people of, um, of the, well, the first town we were in, um, and she managed to slip away through the, through the, the prison bus, um, and that's when we found, um, so basically, this is, this is kind of like one of those, I would say, Outlast and Outlast the Whistleblower type events, if you remember, um, how the events of the Whistleblower were happening at the same time as Outlast, um, but this is basically her story happening at the same time as Mackenzie's, um, so I, g I guess technically as of right now, Mackenzie is not dead. But he possibly will die, or um, I'm assuming there may be a way we can save him. I don't know. Probably not, is my guess, because we're on like the other side of Great Bear from him, uh, for, from him, from he him. I tried to say from he is, and then from him, and it just came out from he him. So you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got yeah some wet clothing. So, oh those are completely frozen. Okay, I didn't have that much of an issue with frozen clothing in um in the last portion of the game. It only happened when I like fell through stuff, you know, like if I actually like fell through a uh, bit of ice or something like that. That's when I would have that that affliction. Oh, that looks like that's burnt a uh, burned down house. So there's a barn I can possibly go into. Um, that's the one thing about this game. is It is never just a straight shot. Never a straight shot. You always have to make some form of... Um, you always have to, you know, go and find a place to hide for the night or whatever. Or just... You know, just make yourself safe so you can get warm again. I, I do like that because a good majority of this story, yeah, there there is a lot of it is story. There's there's a lot of story behind it, but then a good majority of the gameplay is just surviving through whatever the hell is happening. So, which I, I like. I think that's a decent way to make a game. I mean. Some people might disagree with me, but... It's like, instead of us, like, just sitting down, reading a book, or watching a movie, or whatever, um, we're having to, you know, take more time to get through things. Okay, so I can't enter through there. I don't even know if I can enter this building. I should hope I can. Okay, good. We don't know where, um, Molly, Molly is her name, where Molly is, but, um... Hopefully we can find her. So I've got a couple questions for her. <laughs> you know, she literally was like... Was there. Um, she was in that one barn. Um, I'm assuming she was in that barn. And she got, you know, overrun by wolves. And was, you know, got stuck out there. Because I can't remember exactly what she said she was going out to do. But then she got out there... And, like, she completely forgot that she had a, a bow that was out there, so she was able to, you know, fend off the one wolf that actually got into it. Um, quality tools. Probably gonna run out of space here shortly. So I know there's a lot of things. Ooh! Survival bow. Okay, that works. Oh! This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, well. It's not like, apparently, I'm assuming she's got, like, some, like, professional grade bow or something like that, and not just a normal, here's a kind of crap bow. Yo, water. Water is the greatest thing in this game. Go up here, see if there's maybe a bed or something. Nope. Okay. I know some people have, like, this will come in handy. um, ooh, have barns where... Basically, like, farmhands and stuff. That's where they'll sleep, is, like, in barn lofts. 
Oh, this is precarious. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Nope. Not according to me. <laughs> oh, pry bar. I love pry bar. Pry bar is great. Pry bar is your best friend. Okay, so let's see. So to make, ooh, I can make a, that's interesting. So simple arrow, I just, I, okay, so I do need feathers. I knew feathers were gonna come in, in at some point, but I didn't know exactly when they were gonna come in. Um, I wonder if this one, if this por portion of the game is gonna be more survival based because I know, you know, yeah, we did survival and stuff in Mackenzie's story, but um, in, ooh, in her story, I, I just wonder if we're gonna, you know, take more time to um, actually do like survival. So this is, this is more of like, yeah, you do actually have to go out hunting and you have to do whatever you, it takes to survive. But I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. It may, but it may not. So I'm gonna have to, cause I'm probably gonna run out of space here pretty quickly. Start a fire with that. It's gonna take forever, but I can start a fire with that. Yeah. So yeah, we're making our way into the town um, because hopefully we can find someone there that isn't Molly. Because though she seemed nice in the beginning, we don't know if we fully trust her anymore. Um, because she was very, very secretive about, you know, things happening. Um, and that to me instantly, that just spells no bueno. That's, that's, that's not good. That's, if you're, you're hiding something like that, you're definitely, there's definitely something wrong with you. There's, you, you're doing something that I don't like. You're probably a serial killer. <laughs> Which I, I don't think M Molly, I would like to hope that Molly didn't kill that man that was there but we don't know all right i'm just i'm stoking the fire enough that it should last if i were to place down a bedroll um i think i may actually have two bedrolls i have to i have to check though because i don't know yeah we'll do that can i do that i can do that okay cook what can i cook in here cook i cannot cook anything in there okay um, let me see here. Oh yeah, I'm running out of space real quick. All right, so da, 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 da. Oh, all that that stuff will be clear pretty quickly. Got one bedroll. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know. I may or may not have. Okay, Astrid, that's her name, Dr. Astrid. Decent sports fit, yeah, we'll drop that. Um, but it may or may not have a... Um, I, I don't know if this counts technically, this bedroll here counts as a the, you know, the bedroll I already have. I guess I can get about eight hours of sleep and then it should be good. Well, we'll wake up hungry and stuff, definitely, so... But you know, that's fine. We have food. We have a, We have enough food. We have definitely enough food. And then that's starting to die down. So it's not necessarily dead, but it's it's starting to die down. Toke it a little bit. Stoke it, and then um, eat because I'm hungry. Oh, I need to drink water first. Drink water. Oh yeah, I've got coffee. I don't want to make coffee though right now because. That takes a little bit of time, you know? It is a very, what it was, so talking about survival, how it is a very, you have to ration your food and you have to, you know, deal with these things to make sure that, you know, everything is good, everything is fine. What time of the, oh, wow. Okay. I don't know how freaking long the days last here. 
Blackrock. It appears a number of survivors from Blackrock Prison, Bushcrest, and uh, found their way into Pleasant Valley. Investigate to see if the events in Milton have fo uh, followed you through the mountains. Yeah, so Milton. Milton was the first town. Uh, she was um, there, ended up. Okay, so I'm technically here in Pleasant Valley Outbuildings. I'll come back out. Um, I don't know. But it shouldn't take us that long, hopefully, to get to the where it was talking about for trauma. I would say, though, because as of right now, I am fully, fully awake. Um, I'm assuming it's probably pretty cold outside. I don't know. The, the shutters and stuff do sound like they're kind of banging around outside. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, also, um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. I'll make, I'll try and make sure I can get rid of it. I, it's starting to get warm outside, you know. It's it's coming on summertime right right now in um, Ohio. It's like close to ninety degrees, but you know, with the humidity, it makes it like ninety five degrees. I swear. Um, but I've got my AC on, so to keep my room cool. But that may. So I don't know if that sun's gonna affect anything. Hopefully, it won't. But oh, okay, so. It's not too bad out here. Hopefully there's not many wolves out. Hopefully they're asleep. I don't know if there is, like, a best time to travel in this game or not. If there's, like, if you travel at this time, you'll avoid the predators or what. I don't think that that may just be completely wrong, but, you know, I don't Nothing beats hoping, you know? I was wrong. Okay. I don't see it. 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 It borked at me. <laughs> okay, I can try and pry this trunk. Yank, 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 yank. Okay. Nothing. Okay, it's fine. Why do people not keep things in their trunks? <laughs> Honestly, when I own a car, I'll probably have a decent amount of things in my trunk, like, at all times. That's just because I'm paranoid. <laughs> a little bit. Just need, you know, I, I like being prepared, okay? I think that is reasonable. I think that is fully reasonable to have, you know, a decent amount of things in your trunk because, or in, just in your car in general. You know, you never know if you might possibly break down or, you know, if things go wrong. Might get stuck in traffic for hours, so best to have, like, water and stuff. Also, I'm starting to get cold. Not too cold, though, so I'm good. I can make it a little bit further. These people... Uh, that's one of the things that bothers me in this game is they yeah they start shivering and I guess that is technically a sign to tell me that yes they're cold but I think they shiver too quickly if that makes any sense like they they start shivering yeah that makes sense they're cold but if they start shivering and chattering their teeth and stuff closer to when your your like temperature is down i think that would make more sense at least that would make more sense to me Ooh, it is dark it is super dark but i guess that's not too bad i don't know how much i want to mess around with the uh the bow right now i'm probably gonna i'll probably think of fire oh yeah. I don't know how far I am. Pretty close, okay. Hopefully I'll find another building. That's kind of just what you- <gasps> There's a fire! That's just kind of what you do in this game, is you building hop. Yeah, there's a building right up here. With a fire outside. <gasps> I wonder, are we gonna meet Methuselah? Because there's, you know, there's been these times where, you know, you don't find him. So you're just wondering. Thompson's Crossing, okay. 
There's light to be the community hall. There's lights on. Or lanterns at least. Apparently this fire is not a real fire. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> Apparently that fire isn't an actual fire. <laughs> it doesn't count. Hopefully there's warmth in here though, because if there's not, then I'm kind of screwed over. Okay, it's going up. It's going up. Oh no. This sounds bad. Whoosh. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to grab that so that I could read that, but... Or I, I was trying to grab the soda first and then the... Hey, oh, magnifying lens. You can start fires, but you can only start fires at day, you know? Hey, look, you yeah, another pry bar. That's one of the things I don't like is the... All right, I'm gonna... No, I don't wanna... I'm gonna put it away. Hello. Who are you? Oh. Oh. Hello. It's a priest. Hello, sir. Did you come from the crash site like the others? The crash site? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. Crash site? I like this guy. You know about the, the crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffering from shock, maybe. Wait I a crashed, minute. But days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. Oh. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. So something else happened. Some remember? other crash happened. Listen, no. I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. Thank you, Father. What is this place? This is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three, or was it four days ago? <laughs> the houses became too cold, and it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Okay. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crash? So we're going to have to find this crash. The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Oh. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? How long do you think this weather will last? <laughs> Forever. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley is a pretty good city. Nice. <laughs> We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the roads clear. Will someone come to check on the town? Probably the not. Get out? I <laughs> think so. That guy over there answered not it. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm <sighs> not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. Mm -hmm. This time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. 
the best thing I, we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. I was waiting for him to you say something like that. You disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Because <laughs> I did crash. Maybe you can help. Four days ago. <laughs> I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back. And we can try to figure out what can be done for them. Yeah. I like him. He seems nice. Chapter 2, Fallen Star. That's nice. I'm going to go over here and warm up real quick. All right. But I'm going to end this one here. Um, so we know, I guess we know what we're doing the next episode. Um, we're checking on the survivors, seeing uh, what we can do, and then we're going to help them out, um, see what exactly the, the father needs, um, and then go from there. Oh, I guess there's a couple other places in here that I can look at, too. Uh, see what things I can find. Um, because I think... Well, no, so technically, if I do find things like food and water and stuff, um, that can help them. Um, I can have some of it, but not all of it. Um, but I'm all out of time for this one. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.